Hey guys, so today I got my Target Beauty Box. So this box was $10. It got released kind of like the first Monday of the month, but it wasn't really the first Monday of the month because it was January 30th. But considering, you know, the it was close enough to the first Monday of the month. So we'll just stick with the whole it happens on the first Monday of the month. Let's just get into the box. <laughs> so this month says hello, hydration. And as usual, we have our $3 off coupon for Target. All right, so getting into this month's box, this first thing that I see on top is from Soap and & Glory, and it is Face Soap & Clarity Vitamin C Face Wash. This has a little bit of the scrubby things in it, but I actually have the full size of this, and I really like it. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's a little bit on the minty side, which is a little bit weird, but it's a really nice um exfoliating face wash, but I don't really feel like it exfoliates that much. It's it's a very light exfoliation. Really nice face wash. I do really like this. I love this brand. So, you know. Alright, the next thing I see, these things, two things go together. We have a shampoo and conditioner, and they're actually decent sizes. Um, really interesting little bottles. They're from Schwarzkopf's. <laughs> So this is the brand here. We got the Ultimate Repair Shampoo and Conditioner for Heavily Damaged Hair. Hmm. It's like they know. Huh. Very strange. <laughs> Alright, the next thing that I see in here is Raw Sugar Body Wash. Raw Coconut and Mango. Um, huh. Cold Press So Pure Cal Technology. Not tested on animals. No sulfates. No Phthalates, no dyes, no parabens. Very nice. Very nice. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I will totally try this because it doesn't have any of the ingredients that are like bad on my skin. Like my skin reacts to a lot of weird ingredients. It, essentially, I just break out, which sucks. But this sounds like it's right up my alley. And if it's something to sell at Target, I'm sure it is fantastic. All right, so this next thing is Well People Expressionist Mascara. Interesting. I didn't know that this brand was sold at Target. Don't know much about it. Looks like it's got a fairly normal wand. So I'll have to try that out. Very interesting. I've never tried this brand. I didn't even know it existed. So, all right. Next thing that I see in here. This is from Sun Bum. No mess, no stain, nobody will know. Mm. It is a sunless tanner towelette. I don't know how this will work on me. Most self-tanners turned me orange, and when I was a teenager, I might have been okay with that, but nowadays I am not. I would rather be ghostly pale than orange. So we will see how that goes. I did get one last year. That wasn't too bad. I was kind of surprised, but it was more of a makeup, and it washed off in... Uh, the next thing in here is Mask Bar Hydrating Peel-Off Mask. Very interesting. These can go one of two ways. They can be effective and kind of nice, or they can be super painful. I've had a lot that are super painful. But either way, I will totally give this a shot. Alright, and next up, ooh. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, granted, it is foil packets, but these are foil packets I can deal with. They are actually a pretty good size, and you're probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about. So, L'Oreal came out with clay masks quite a few months ago. I honestly have not gotten around to trying them, which is kind of weird because I am obsessed. Obsessed with face masks. And I love the I love the peel-off. I love the wash-off. I love clay. I, I love the the um, sheet mask. Like, I love them all. I love masks. Like, I have boxes dedicated to masks. I have a problem. But this has a sample of all three, which means I can try all three of these masks. I can probably get each one of these to last probably two to three applications because they do feel like they've got a decent amount in there. So, yeah, I can probably make each one of these last about three applications, and then I can decide which one I actually want to buy, which is fabulous, unless I want to buy them all, and then I'm stuck where I was in the beginning, where I'm like, which one do I get, because buying them all seems so excessive. I feel so extra. I am becoming one of those girls that is very high maintenance, all because of masks. 
Yes, masks. That is my problem. So that was everything that was in this month's Target Beauty Box. I actually really, really like this box because there's a lot of things in here that one, I'll be able to use, and two, I'll be able to try that I actually want to try. So... I'm really excited about this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.